Yesterday, we compared fractions. We looked at fractions like 4 sixths and 2 sixths, and we visualized them using models. I notice 4 sixths is represented by four 1 sixth size pieces, and 2 sixths is represented by two 1 sixth size pieces. In this case, my two fractions had the same denominator. The pieces were the same size. They were all one sixth. And so it was really easy to compare. Four sixths is going to be bigger than two sixths. And I could insert my greater than symbol. Another example that looks like this that we looked at yesterday was one eighth and two eighths. One eighth size piece compared to two eighth sized pieces. Again, they have the same denominator, so the pieces were the same size. That made it very easy to compare. Two eighth size pieces is greater than one eighth sized piece. Today we're going to keep comparing fractions, but the difference is that instead of having the same denominator, today our fractions are going to have the same numerator. So what does that look like when we think about a visual? Well, in this case, we have a piece that is an eighth and a piece that is a fourth. But in both cases, we only have one piece. Well, I notice that one eighth is smaller than one fourth. So I know that when I have the same numerator, it's easy to compare my fractions because they have the same number of pieces. Is one eighth size piece bigger or smaller than one fourth sized piece? In this case, I know that one fourth size piece is greater. Let's look at another one. This time, we still have the same numerator, but instead of one, they both have the numerator two. So when I look at my visual, I have two third size pieces for two thirds compared with two fourth size pieces for two fourths. I notice that two third pieces are larger than two one fourth size pieces. When I have the same numerator, I have the same number of pieces, and I can compare them easily. Two one-third size pieces is greater. I notice when I look at my pieces that I can compare them by thinking about the denominator. It looks to me like the bigger the denominator, the smaller the pieces. That seems kind of weird. Usually when we have big numbers, we think that's bigger. But in this case, my denominator of two tells me it takes two pieces to make the whole. My denominator of eight tells me it takes eight pieces to make the whole. If I cut my pizza into eight pieces, each piece is going to be smaller. If I only cut my pizza into two pieces, each piece is going to be bigger. I can compare fractions by thinking about the size of my denominator. The bigger the denominator, the smaller my pieces.